Yo, still bills with the Dizzle. Man, I'm heading to work on this Friday morning. I hope I can be off by one and get to enjoying my day. But peep motherfucking game, man. We got to talk about this shit, man. Listen, if ever you doubted a divine presence, that shit should come to a ceasefire immediately, man. Get PBC the fuck up out of here. Get them niggas the fuck up out of here, man. Um, allegedly, with this merger between per Paramount and, and they're buying, they're buying, they're pretty much buying up Showtime, and the PBC boxing stable is not making the cut into the next transition, the next phase of Showtime, man. And I have no quarrels with it, man. I barely watch PBC. Um, I, I barely watch it. It's it's just you know, I'm just it's a few fighters that I'm. That I, you know that I'm in. I watch Jermel. I'll even watch Jamal. I watch David Benavidez. I watch a mo It's a few fighters on the Lubin, Sebastian Fundora, uh, 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 Stanionis. I'd watch them, but you know they fight so off. So you know so so they fight so fucking it, like they only fighting once a year. So I'll barely. I don't even. It, it's like yo shit. They only gonna fight one time in it. All right, cool. Like I, I don't know how many broadcasts. That I've skipped the PBC. I don't know. I don't know, man. This dude has. This dude is a parasite to boxing. This dude is a parasite. A parasite, man. I've never seen nobody this cancerous to the sport. Even when you talk about a nigga like Don King, Don King was at least involved in some of the most colossal and magnanimous fights throughout the history of the sport despite the fact him being a shrewd operator and just being a grimy ass businessman and fucking his fighters on the back end he was at least a part of some of the biggest fights in history man this dude has made no effort to make any sort of any sort of historical fights i can't think of I can't think of a historical fight that this man made. And I'm just I'm not just talking about just in like as far as competition is concerned with the two of them fighting, but just they having the them galvanizing the attention of the casuals. Yeah, you know. I don't get it. I don't get it, man. And I don't want to get it, man. Get them niggas the fuck up out of here, bro. Get just Jermail Charlo is he had one of his fight brought in some of the most viewership that you that any of your fighters have seen in a minute and he's benched until January. What in the fuck are you doing? David Benavidez fights fucking David Lemieux and he's done for the year. Now granted, I don't think all of this shit falls on Al Heyman, but he's the face of that stable so he's going to have to wear all of this. I don't give a fuck about Samson Lukowicz. When we say PBC, we think Al Heyman. Al Heyman is the one who got this shit back, you know, on uh, on, on FS1 and Fox and all that shit. He has to, he, he's taking the brunt of the blame. I don't fuck what nobody says. This shit falls on him. This shit falls on him, bro. You have went out of your way. You have fucking, how do you sabotage so many deals with other networks? <laughs> How do you do that? How do you sabotage it to the point they don't even want they don't, they want nothing to do with the business. They want nothing to do with the business. Even when Bob M ran fucking HBO boxing into the ground, he rebounded like a year or two later with fucking going on ESPN. But he had to, he had the wherewithal to do that. He had the connections. He had the trust built up. With these businesses and these executives and shit like that to say, all right, cool, we gonna we, we gonna throw you a contract, we're gonna see how it sticks. And look what he's doing now. Look at what he's doing now. We've had two undisputed title matches that I can think of on ESPN. Josh Taylor and goddamn uh, Jose Ramirez. We about to have the rematch to George Cambosos and Devin Haney. We've had some big fights, meaningful fights on ESPN. What meaningful fights have we, you had undisputed with Jamel Charlo and, 
what, what, what else after that? I'm curious to find out. It's a multitude of big fights happening over there on other platforms, man. You are the nigga. You want to sit here and keep feeding this bullshit pay per views? Because I don't know what, like, I don't, I don't know what gives you the wherewithal to think that we are going to cover that fucking the purse that these motherfuckers are demanding. You not the executive enough to tell them, man, y'all are not worth this this bag that y'all are asking for. At, eventually, you have to look out for the consumer, my nigga, and you do not do that. I don't know how many fights you have let slip through your fucking fingers. I'm clueless on it. Clueless. How many fights have you slipped through your fingers? Why haven't we gotten the plant and Benavidez fight? Why haven't why didn't we get a Jermel versus goddamn Jared Hurd fight when both of them was at the peak of their powers? I think Jermel was more so at the peak of his powers in the now, but Jared Hurd is not even a fucking factor anymore in boxing. He was fighting on Triller and shit. Why didn't we get Leo Santa Cruz versus fucking uh, 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 Gary Ant uh, Gary uh, Gary Russell Jr.? It's a multitude of fights that you just let slip through your through, through your fingers, bro. Even with the now, we, are we even gonna get Carlos Adamas versus Jamal, Jamal Charlo? Canelo Alvarez jumps up and goes undisputed in the division, and when he does that, he cleaned up the entire division. He got all the champions the fuck up out of there. You had two champions at that weight on your side of the street and y'all decided not to make the fight happen because y'all wanted to marinate it. As if these two fights, y'all are really, you have took this, May, this Mayweather strategy and ran that shit into the ground because these niggas is not Floyd. How do you marinate Plant versus fucking Benavidez? You don't do that because they not Floyd and they not Manny. And even with them niggas, man, they, that flight, that fight was such a dud. It was a dud to the, you know, to the casual. It fucking, it repelled them. I'm not watching. This is we, we we waited four years to see this. I'm not watching this. That shit is ridiculous. If there's ever a strategy that you want to stay away from, it's that because you don't know if these niggas is gonna be able to perform at that level. Now, I think with, the, you know, David Benavidez, you would have to knock him out in order for him to stop. But the thing, like, why even risk it? Y'all milk these fights for so fucking long that they sour and they eventually go to the wayside. Nobody gives a fuck about them. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't happy, bro. When, I'm, when this news broke yesterday, I was overjoyed. I was overjoyed. Jerron Ennis has fought for three, what, two rounds this year? Maybe three. I think he, I think he fought Thomas. Did he fight Thomas DeLorme last year? Late last year, early this year? I, can't, I, 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 I don't know. Three rounds, bro. Amante Stanionis, he's not getting the title shot till 2024. More than likely. Neither is Jerron Ennis. David Benavidez is on record with saying he has us all looking like stupid. Like he got us looking stupid. Yet you re-sign with this motherfucker. You can't bring that music business model inside of a fucking in, 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 into the world of boxing because the, the standards are different. You don't need to fight in meaningful competition in the music biz. You can do the most minimalist bullshit and still make strike gold in the music business because these people are so dumbed down and high and low vibration. They don't give a fuck about nothing anybody has to say as long as it makes them move. You don't even got to be coherent with what you're saying. You can rhyme two words that don't even like why, why. Okay, yeah, you rhyme those two words, but what is the you know how are, how how was how how was the bar coherent? Push, man, man, come on, man. I, I, oh, my God. 
that gimmicky shit, man. Them niggas in the music biz, when they do their videos and shit like that, that ain't their cars, that ain't their jewelry, that ain't their money. And if it is their money, they gonna have to pay that shit back. It's a, I don't, I don't know how contracts work. But it's a, it, it is a rich history of rappers going, and just people who are involved in music saying, that's not their cars. They rent them cars, they take them back to the dealership. They, they, they rent that jewelry, they take it right back to the jeweler. It's a facade. It's a facade to look a certain way, to, to project a certain image in the camera. And you have found a way to bring it, to transition that energy over into boxing where it's not about your accolades. It's about the Twitter wars, the Twitter beefs. It's about everything outside of the sport of boxing, man. PBC is the most underdeveloped, just look at how they're doing Javante Davis. They're still trying to sell y'all that he is a fucking superstar. And he is not fighting anybody. He is not fighting anybody. And nobody cares that he's not fighting it. They're cool with him fighting Roly Romero. They're cool because Javante Davis is a nigga who can who can beat somebody and that, but the person that he beat, their stock rises off of a loss. my god and y'all have sent y'all minions out to bang on Eddie just I, you know Eddie Hearn is the dude you know he's the he's not American so you know for him to come over here and shake up the American market that can, I can see how that would how that would ruffle feathers with the American promoters up here but the thing is they don't uh, even Bob Aaron I don't think Bob Aaron puts on the does Bob Aram put on the shows that Eddie Hearn does? I don't I, no, I don't think he does. And Bob Aram has good shows. Eddie Hearn has put on three big time fights this year. Joshua Usyk the rematch, Canelo Golovkin the trilogy, Amanda to Amanda Serrano Katie Taylor. Those fights were huge especially Amanda Serrano versus Katie Taylor. As a matter of fact, I'm I, that is my fight of the year. That was an incredible fight. I just went and watched it earlier this week again. I just went and watched it. But y'all run these little antics and these little bullshit, just smoking mirrors and shit like that, man, to the point where y'all 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 have <laughs> y'all have convinced y'all flunkies. To believe that Anthony Joshua and Eddie Hearn ducked Deontay Wilder despite like how do we disregard a hundred million dollar contract? And when y'all get so y'all are so your your arguing points are so convoluted with what it is that you know y'all oh, he wasn't promised him a fight. Well, how wasn't he promised him a fight? Oh, wasn't it right? Just just stupid shit. I'm gonna pay you. How am I gonna make back a hundred million dollars if I put you in front of goddamn Zile Zhang or Philip Hergovich? How does that make sense? There was nobody else over there for him to fight that would bring that type of demand except Anthony Joshua. No other heavyweight was going to be able to bring him back that type of money he put into the fight. So why wouldn't you fight Anthony Joshua? It's just so stupid how y'all just don't, it, like, I, oh my God, y'all niggas just done. And to add insult to injury, Floyd's next exhibition is going to be on the zone. Wow. How does it feel? How does it feel? Y'all have spent years berating Eddie Hearn. It just y'all just had this mentality. Oh man, y'all y'all are so fixated on America, like American boxing. In the next 10 years, if it stays like this, we are getting lapped. <laughs> Fuck surpassed. We will be lapped. We will be lapped. Yes, we produce the talent, but so does other countries. Yes, we produce the talent, but look at what's going on in the UK. They're putting their fighters against each other at, off the rip. That's what's dope about it. It's not, I'm not relegating my brand and, and my network to one fucking country. That's stupid.
boxing is a global sport. If you, if we talking basketball and football, yeah, you want to control the American market. But boxing is a global sport. And because boxing isn't as big as football and basketball and baseball and soccer, you need to do everything in your power to get it to that level. And y'all refuse to do that because y'all want this cold war between this, this set tripping between promotional banners and fucking promoters. The sport suffers. We not doing business with them over there. Nah, man. It's not about you bitch ass niggas. It's not about y'all. Y'all don't pay for the fights. Y'all may pay for the purses. Yeah. But if you have a, 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 a prop up, a proper fan base that's willing to pay to watch your fighters fight the purse is nothing shit all right cool we gonna throw we gonna get that niggas gonna come watch that fight but y'all don't want to do that because you funking with that promoter over there y'all don't like eddie hearn so now y'all prize stallion the main dude that y'all y'all done brung all of the oh man we could get you like floyd look at what we did for floyd look at what we did for floyd. bob aaron made floyd <laughs> Bob Aaron made Floyd. If Floyd came up under the tutelage of them PBC niggas, he would not have gotten to the, you know, gotten to the to the level that he got to. When he left top rank, he was already an established pay-per-view entity. He was already established. Fuck out of here. Y'all want to pitch that bullshit to them, man. Floyd, 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 Floyd. None of these niggas is Floyd from a talent. From a talent standpoint, the hard work, Floyd was still Floyd's getting up at six, three and four in the morning to go jogging as an established fighter. Still putting in the same amount of hours in the gym that's a fighter head is on a come up, bro, to maintain his spot in the division, in the sport. These niggas is not Floyd. These niggas is not Floyd fighting once a year, bro. Tyson fought 12, 12 times in like 86, man. 12 times. Y'all don't allow these niggas to go over to other platforms to not even just make money, but just make a a, 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 a legitimate fight. Y'all don't allow them to do that. And the sport suffers. And not only does the sport suffer, but your brand suffers. And that's why y'all not making the next phase. And to add insult to injury, Floyd is fighting on y'all ops platform. And it's still dumbass niggas talking about what does this even mean? I don't mean nothing. I don't mean nothing. I don't mean nothing. Your chief architect in which y'all y'all follow this blueprint as, as it pertains to promotional fights and milking fights. Switch teams. He switched sides. He a hood hopper. It's the zone on mine. That's what Floyd's saying. It's the zone on mine. And now y'all all look stupid. Sitting here watching this man go to a rival network, bro. Get the PBC the fuck out of here. I'm overjoyed that this shit is happening to them niggas. They gotta go. <laughs> they gotta go. But now the kicker is, where do all of those inactive fighters go? Where do they all go? That's the downfall to all of this. Because just because the PBC doesn't have a TV deal, that doesn't mean they the fighters still aren't under contract. So where do they go after this? Where do they go? So now you're going to, while Al Heyman is already tarnished two different TV deals. You don't think the network executives talk to each other? Man, don't fuck with Al Heyman, man. He do this, he do that. Yada, 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 yada. He... You don't think they talking to one another? You don't think TNT talk to motherfucking C uh, 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 CBS? You don't think goddamn MTV talks to goddamn A&E? You don't think the Discovery Channel talks to motherfucking ESPN? You don't think them execs talk to one another? Where the fuck is Al Hammond going to And while he's figuring out where to go, and it's going to take him a while to land something unless he swallows his pride and he goes over to the zone, his fighters are going inactive. More so than when they already are. Putting another black eye on the sport because he is not going to allow his fighters to go over to fight on the zone. 
or anywhere else. Al Hammond got to go. And that's just the long and short of it, man. And I'm glad that he's gone. So get that nigga the fuck up out of here, man. I'm out of here. Deuces.